Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to take a look right here at Apple.com. Anyways, let's just go right into it. Now, here's Apple.com. Now, in order to shop for anything, you would have to go up here. It's going to say Store, Mac, iPad. Well, it depends what you guys want. So, if you go into Store, which is our first option on the top left-hand corner, you're going to get something like so. But before we go into anything, I do want to show you on the top right hand corner of your screen you're going to see this icon just tap on it and then from here you're going to see this down here below where you can sign in and your account it's very important to make an account if you don't have one even if you're buying this as a gift that way you can track it and especially now that things are taking way longer to get to you you really want to be able to just go into your account and track this at any time always 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 have an account that way if this is for you as well then you guys can go ahead and check out whichever devices you guys have will always be in your account. And if you need to set up any appointments or anything because something went wrong, well, again, if you have an account, it's much easier. So whether you have an account or not, just click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, you're going to see something like so. And right here, you can go ahead and put, if you don't have one, it says do not have an app ID, create yours right now. So just click there, you're going to create an app ID. If you already have one, just go ahead and put it in. It's just going to be your email and password. Once you have done so, then you're going to get to the main page right here and just start shopping. Again, like I showed you guys, you guys can go right into store. However, I don't like that view from store. It just seems messy to me. So if you know exactly what you want to buy, for example, if you go into iPhone, click on it, we're going to see a list of iPhones up here. And let's say we want iPhone 14 Pro. And from here, we can go on, on the top right hand corner, you're gonna see buy. After you click on buy, you can finally see the price that is for you. Now prices will be different depending on your local currency, where you're at. So right now, if I click right here, iPhone 14 Pro, it's gonna take me to this next step, choosing my color, I want space black. And then from here, I do have to mention that if you can split that little bit more money for almost double the gigs, go for it and that's because this is worth it 128 is good but especially if you're taking video you're gonna see that it won't be that great you'll have to be constantly just uh, moving your videos to your Mac or to whichever computer you guys have in order to keep them because 120 gigs is not that good once you're recording at 4k quality which is big but let's say it's pretty normal use 120 gigs should be okay then it's going to take you down here. You can go ahead and put no trade if you don't have anything to trade up. Apple Care. Well, Apple Care depends. Now, if you have broken your screens a lot or even once, I would go on and up and purchase Apple Care. You're going to save money that way. But if you don't, if you don't have any jobs that are high risk and you're going to just drop your phone constantly, then no Apple Care is needed. So I'm going to choose no Apple Care. I do want to mention on the top. Right hand corner, I'm going to see this order today delivers by the 29th of December. Now, for some of you, you may be able to pick up. So check this out. And a lot of you, once you check pick up, you're going to see that there's nothing. There's really nothing you can pick up anywhere. So you will be forced to get it delivered. And that's because right now we still have the chip shortage. So things take a long time to get to us. So this will be the 29th of December approximately. And yes, once we purchase this, it's going to say processing for the longest time until you get really close to your actual delivery date. And then there's going to charge you. Then you're going to see a shipping and tracking. But anyways, right now we can just add this to our bag right here. Just tap on add to bag. From here, you're going to see review bag and uh, we can just go ahead and click on review bag. However, at this point, if you would like to buy anything else, you can go on and do that. But let's say you are done. You can just go on and review your bag. So let's just tap there. By the way, even if you got out of that page on the top right hand corner, you're going to see this. Click on it and you're going to see what's here and just press check out. Once you do so, just scroll down, you're going to see the price. And yes, they are pretty pricey. We're going to go down. We're going to see that maybe we can look for a store near us to pick up. I already checked, so I know there's nothing near me. And right here, I can get it delivered by this date. It is free. Now see this right here, your postal code. Just make sure it's the right one so you get a good approximate date of when you're going to get it. Or if there is an Apple store that has your product there, you can maybe just pick it up but most likely that's not gonna happen. 
Down here below, if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see shipping free, taxes, it's 181. So we told it's going to be 1,500 bucks for this iPhone. We can keep going down. And we're going to see this. So you can pay monthly, which is good. But I personally recommend if you don't have the money, don't buy it. If you have the money, pay in full. So go ahead and pay in full 1,500 bucks. Right here, you can check out with Apple Pay, or you can just click on checkout. Now, we're assuming you don't have an Apple product, so we're not going to do with Apple Pay, because that's something that you have to set up. Apple Pay, you just link it up to your credit card, and there you go. You can just get things shipped to you pretty fast. Right now, we're going to click on checkout. Now, if you haven't signed into your Apple ID yet, it's going to ask you to sign in. Just sign into it. Then scroll down, and you're going to see continue to shipping address, so that's down here below. Click on continue to shipping address. From here, you should see all your information. Uh, if you don't have an address here, just use a new address or just type in some information about your address. We'll ask you for your email plus your phone number. So you can go on and type in your phone number. Keep in mind that you don't have a phone number. You can go ahead and put a check mark here. I don't have a phone number. And all the way in the bottom, we're going to see this continue to payment. So just click on continue to payment. Once again, if you have Apple Pay, you can go on and do that, or you can go into credit card, tap on credit card, and just fill up all your information here. So your credit card info, your first name, last name, and all your billing information. So billing address is usually the same thing as your home address. Once you've done so on the bottom, you're gonna see review your order. Just click on review your order. So once you click on there, it's gonna take you right here. It's gonna tell you when it's gonna deliver and all your information plus the total. So if I scroll all the way down, I'm going to see my total and I can just press on place order. Once we placed our order, that's it. We're done. Right now you should see this page. It's going to tell you that you should get a confirmation in your email. It's going to tell you when it's going to deliver. And at this point, you're going to be waiting a long time. So let's say it's already for me. It says delivers December 29th. By December 27th, if it's still processing, there's nothing to worry about. Usually, it only takes those two days to ship this out anyways. So guys, if you're just a week away, just a few days away, you're still processing, it's all right. Now, if it's the day before or it's the day that it's supposed to deliver already and still processing, most likely it's going to be delayed. You're going to get it later, which can happen, especially nowadays. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.